Hi, it's great to see you. We are doing a full body gentle stretching routine today. We are gonna start seated. If sitting cross-legged is not comfortable for you, you can just sit in a chair to start and that works fine. So we're gonna be cross-legged, arms down at your sides, and you're gonna inhale both arms up and exhale your arms down. Good job, inhale your arms up. On this one, when you exhale, you're gonna twist gently to your right. So your left hand can come on to your knee and then you bring your arms back up to center and we'll take it the other way. So we're gonna get into your hips and your hamstrings and your back and your upper spine today. Just getting everything moving in a nice gentle way following your breath so that your body feels safe but also feels really nice and relaxed and stretched at the end. So your arms come down Leave your left hand where it is and bring your right arm up and over. Maybe look up towards the ceiling if you can. And then we come back and go the other way. So we need to move. Our body was meant and made to move. Movement is like WD-40 to your joints. We need that to get fluid into those joints but I know sometimes when there's been an injury or even just stiffness or pain, sometimes you don't know how to move in a safe way. And so this routine will help you kind of come back into your body, find a little bit of control and empowerment again, and just help you feel really good. This is a routine I even use sometimes at night before going to bed, because it just kind of helps loosen and open everything up and relaxes me. Nice job, come back to center. We're gonna take right ear to your right shoulder and just breathe here. And then take your left ear to your left shoulder. Good, and bring that back up. And we are gonna come on to all fours. So you're gonna be on your hands and knees. And again, if this isn't comfortable at all, we're not gonna be here long, okay? What I want you to do is round your spine. So you can always just rest during this, or you can again kind of attempt this same position sitting in a chair. I just want you to work on rounding and then arching your back. Okay, so we're gonna round and then arch. Nice job, come back to center and sit yourself back and find a child's pose. Separate your knees so that you can sink down in between those legs and breathe here. Many times we come in and out of stretches a little bit too fast, so I'm gonna make you hold this at least for one or two breaths as we move along. Let's walk our hands over to the right. Stretching that left side. And then walk your hands over to the left. And then we're gonna come back to center again. And then come back up onto all fours and bring your left foot forward. Now, if this is brand new to you, you have some options. I want you to have either a chair or maybe the wall close to use for balance. And also you can put a towel or a pillow under your back knee and that'll help give you quite a bit of support under that knee, okay? So those are two great options. And then you can either stay here for your hip flexor stretch or hands can come to your knee or again to that wall or chair so that you come up just a little bit higher. Okay. And I don't want you to worry at all about what level or variation you are at. Everyone's body is different. We are all going to look different. We're all going to feel different. So you are just listening to your body and where it is today, what option you have today. Okay. And you're going to work with that instead of kind of pounding against it and wishing it was different, work with your body where it is today. 
All right, we're gonna bring our hands back down and then just gently shift your hips back to find some length in the back of the left leg. So here's your hamstring. And then slowly come out of that. You're gonna bring the left foot back and we're gonna find the right foot forward. And you're just gonna take your time getting there. You'll notice I kind of walk my foot forward. I kind of wiggle that back hip into the right position. I take a few moments and then decide how I feel about maybe bringing my hands up. And even in a stretch like this, think about having control. Think about tall posture. Think about trying to create space in your abdomen, almost like you're trying to lift your ribs up off your hips, just so you're not sinking down, but it's more of a, a release into the stretch while you're still controlling the rest of your body. And then we'll bring our hands down and shift your weight back. And here too, your hands don't have to be on the mat. They can be on that chair. They can be on a couple blocks or books that you have to lift them a little higher. Good, and we're gonna come back in. Sweep the leg back. And I'm gonna have you lay down on your stomach. Separate your legs, mat distance apart. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and slowly press yourself up. You're going again to the level your body tells you is acceptable for you today. And then slowly back down. Okay, so when we stretch, I like to gain mobility in the joints, in the muscles, both, meaning we want some mobility in that spine. That's a big reason why we feel stiff throughout the day. Press up. And then stay here. Look over your right shoulder. And then your left shoulder. And then center. And again, slowly press back. Walk yourself into that child's pose stretch again. And if any of these aren't right for you, you're just gonna skip that one and jump right back in with us. Okay? Exercise and movement is not all or nothing. It's picking what's right for you on any given day and sticking with that and being consistent and believing in your body to make changes, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna sit now with our legs out in front and our legs are gonna be mat distance apart. So that's about two feet apart. And here, you're gonna sit up tall as well. Bring your hands behind your head. Inhale, rotate to the right. And exhale, center. And inhale, rotate left. And center. This won't feel like a traditional stretch, but it is one of my favorites for actually helping to loosen up your hips and your upper back. And if you need to as well, this can be done sitting in a chair. One more each side. Just think about all the benefits you're giving your body right now just by committing this time to it. Nice, come back down. Arms come down. And then I'm gonna have you slowly lay down on your back. So you can either bring your legs together and roll down, or you can just simply Kind of roll to your side and end up on your back, okay? Nice, so we're gonna bend our knees and bring the right knee in and give it a really good squeeze. And then if it's okay for you, go ahead and straighten that left one out again. So I'm squeezing my right knee in and I'm really giving it some compression, meaning I'm really pulling it in and kind of moving it around to get the fluid moving. And then let's hold behind the right leg and you're gonna reach it up and then bend. So this, again, is kind of lengthening the back of the leg into the hamstrings. And 
and reach it up, stay here. And give yourself a few ankle circles. Let's get that foot and ankle moving. Reverse directions. Nice job, bring it in. Keep your left hand on the knee, bring it to the left. Your right arm goes to the right like a T and you're gonna turn and look to the right. So we're twisting here. And then slowly bring that back up. Bend your left knee so that your right ankle is going to be on that knee for a pure form of stretch. You're either gonna stay here, or if it feels okay to you, bring the legs in so that you can hold on top of the left shin or behind the left thigh. So I've reached my right hand through the hole made by the right leg. And wherever you end up, then try to get your head and neck relaxed and your tailbone down nice and heavy. Good, and then you can slowly release that, straighten the right leg out and pull the left leg in. So give it that nice big squeeze, joints like compression. Maybe move it to the left and the right a little bit. <clears throat> Hold behind the left leg and reach it up. And you're just straightening it as much as you can. It might not go straight all the way. That's okay. Reach it up. Stay here ankle circles. And reverse directions. Nice, bring it back in. Your right hand now is on the knee and it's gonna come to the right as your left arm reaches to the left and you look to the left. your body relax into the ground. Slowly return using that control. Bend the right knee so that you kind of capture that foot or ankle and either stay here or bring both legs in towards you. And then once you've found your place in your grip, relax your neck and your head and relax your tail back down towards the ground. One more deep breath. Nice, and release that. And just hug both knees in Maybe rock it side to side. And then reach arms and legs away from each other. And I want you to stretch, stretch your toes, stretch your fingers, reach, 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 reach. And then let everything settle back down. Arms come down to your sides. And go ahead and take one more deep breath in here and let all the benefits of the work you just did settle into your body. Stay here as long as you need. And thank you so much for coming by and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by. Remember, subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. Like and comment on this video and let me know what you thought. You can also always come over to jessicavalantpilates.com to find all the resources I have for living a healthy lifestyle, including full-length workout videos, healthy recipes, and a community I would love for you to be a part of. So I'll see you there.